Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and today what I wanted to do for you is I wanted to show you a template that I've used a lot this past year. It's a template that I've used in several projects and I've gotten really positive feedback in terms of the look and the simplicity of the design. In the world of dashboarding there are hundreds and thousands really potentially infinite number of layouts, templates, or dashboard designs that you can use. And so it's very important that you choose one that really makes your presentation stand out, but not one that is so overbearing that it sort of distracts from the message of your presentation. So this is one that I have found to be really useful. And like I mentioned, I've used it with clients and I've gotten really good feedback. And so I wanna share that with you today. And I also wanna give thanks to everyone who supported the channel in 2021. I look forward to providing more content in 2022. Uh, this has been something that I've really enjoyed. And without further ado, uh, let me show you how to build that template. Okay, so here we are in a blank file. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by creating sort of this, this footer background down here. Um, maybe you have a custom template that you want to upload as your background. I don't have one in particular right now, so I'm just going to kind of create one. So I'm just going to grab a, a flat color, insert a rectangle, right, drag it across my page. So this is going to serve as my footer. Maybe I'll change the color. Just go with like a dark blue. And let me bring in just some mock data, just so you have an idea of what I'm going to start to do with, with the footer here. I'm going to enter data and just say date. Let's do 12, 1, 20, 21. And slicer, dapper, dash, I don't know. Let's go ahead and load it. And what I can do with this footer section here is this is what's going to house things like maybe a slicer or maybe a logo. If you're working for a company and they have a logo, I can put it down in the corner. Also, if I'm working with maybe any sort of dates, right, you can highlight the date or even the name of the page that you're on. So I'm gonna put in a slicer. Okay, let me make this just a drop down. I'm gonna bring it down here. Remove the background. Drag it down. Let's set it to dapper dash. And then I can start from this point to kind of play around with, with the slicer here. Um, let's make it single select and make the font color white, maybe up the size. There we go. Okay, so I'm, this is gonna serve as a, as a holder or a place where I can put my slicer. I can also add things like, like I mentioned, maybe the name of the page. In, in this case, I'm just gonna mock it and add a date. Let's go with this one here. Same thing, let's remove the background, remove the category, and drag it down here. go white and maybe drop the size to like a 32 and there all right this is really simple but at least at the bottom I have a quick maybe title for my page or you know what month are we in or what state are we looking at whatever that might be and then a quick slicer where I can you know filter some of my data so that's the first part uh, let me jump in to the next part here okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, a banner towards the top and for that banner. Now that banner can be several things. It could be an image and the example that I'm going to show you, I'm actually going to use a map, but I will show you an alternate version of this layout where I use an image in case you're not working with any sort of location data like city, state, or zip code. But in, in my example, I've loaded a, a, a table real quick. All I have is a few state names, right? Arizona, Utah, California, New York. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create this banner that's gonna to go towards the top. Once again, don't worry about if you're not using location data in, in your data set, I'll show you an, an alternate thing that you can do, which is creating an image instead of using a map. But for now, I have this map. 
I'm gonna go ahead and load my location onto the map and I'm gonna actually change my slicer so that this changes based on this location. All right, okay, so here we have Arizona. We have our map at the top. And then you can clean up the banner. You don't need a title. You don't need the background, tooltips, or the visual headers. All right, this is just gonna serve in the background. So now in your presentation, as you move your slicer around, right, it, it changes the location that you're looking at. That's it for this step. Let's move on to the next. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a KPI card. And so this is gonna be a simple rectangle where inside of the rectangle, we're gonna start to put uh, different little metrics that are gonna stand out. Most of the time when someone lands on this layout, on this template, the KPI card is what stands out. It's what catches the reader's attention right away. And so in order to do that, let's go insert a shape. We're gonna insert a rectangle. Now for the rectangle, I do want the fill to be white. And you wanna to go to the shape and you're gonna round the edges a little bit. Uh, not much, I'm just gonna add a two for this one. And then typically the outline, I try to go with some sort of gray color, like a dark gray color. Uh, I'm gonna go a little lighter than that. Maybe this color here. Okay. And then now we're gonna start to position, especially if you don't want the, the Microsoft Bing logo, we're gonna start to cover that. And we're gonna start to position this KPI card right around here. And like I said, this is what's gonna house some simple sort of key metrics. Um, and I'll show you what the final version looks like when I add some data. But if you, if you wanna have an idea, I mean, I can just add a text box to my text box. I'll add a title. I'll just say, you know, dapper dash LLC or something. You know, this would be housed inside of this KPI card. Something like this, I would uh, let's up the text. You know, if we didn't need the card to be so wide, we can just bring it in. If we wanted to, you know, we'd have like another sort of text box that serves as a sort of subtitle. Um, let's just name, actually let's add this to the location. So as we change the location, right, it's gonna, in this case, it's gonna be Utah. And we don't need it quite as big as our main title. So maybe, let's just do 20. Okay. And you can kind of just play around with the positioning. Once again, uh, I'll show you the final version in a little bit. This is just to give you an idea. Something like that. Right, and now as I start to change my filter, you know, Dapper Dash, now we're looking at the California location, we're looking at New York, or we're looking at Arizona. Okay, this looks pretty good. Let's go on to really, we only have about two more sections left to give you the simple layout. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, for the last two sections, this is gonna be actually really simple. We're just gonna add sections that are gonna house our our graphics, our dashboards, our, or sorry, our um, visualizations. And so I'm gonna add another rectangle here, right? And maybe I want a section here. And so go ahead and make the fill on this one white. You do still want an outline, kind of a grayish outline, a light gray maybe. And on the start of the shape, this time we're gonna round the edges at a five. Okay, and that's what that's gonna look like right there. We're gonna add a title to this. So go ahead and grab a text box. And on the text box, we're not gonna write anything inside of the text box. We are gonna add a title to the text box. So this is gonna be, um, let's say, metrics section or something or metric stats, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna line it in the center and set the text size to 12. 
And now you're going to start to adjust this text box so that it fits the text exactly, you know, just enough space so the text is, is visible. And then you're going to move it right around above this rectangle. And so, so now you have this metric section, right, with a title that quickly tells the reader, okay, this section contains metrics or this section contains um, demographics, whatever it might be. And just to show you a little bit of a step further, if you go up to the view, the selection, you know, here are all, here's everything that's on the page right now. Here I have the metrics and here I have the rectangle that I just added. What you can do is you can control click both of them and group them, right? And I'm going to call this metrics. Okay, so now these are part of, of the same group. So if I were to move this around, right, it moves the text box along with the rectangle. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to copy it. Now the layout of your page might look different depending on how many sections you want to add. Uh, here I'm just going to show you what it would look like if I had two different sections. All right, so now I have a, a different one metric and a different one here. But this one maybe I'm going to call stats. And I'm going to go ahead right into the, the text box there and I'm going to change that to stats section. There it is. Okay, so now I have two sections for visuals. I have my metric section and my stats section. And if I really wanted to, I could go ahead and add one more. Maybe over here where there's a, some blank space. Side, we want to move the entire thing. And then we'll drag it down. And instead of naming this the stats section, um, we'll name it demographics and same thing we're going to go ahead and just res resize this and we're going to center it at our rectangle so right there so okay so i mean this is really it this is the simple layout right you have a banner you have a kpi card which is going to contain some pretty key metrics, right? Most of the times this is where the the reader, the person looking at the presentation, their eye, like it naturally just tends to go to this section. Um, and that's why I have in big, bigger letters or, or bigger font, um, sort of the a title or what it, what is it that I'm looking at? I'm looking at, okay, Dapper Dash LLC. I'm looking at the state of Arizona. Um, and then I have sections where I have different visualizations, maybe a page title down here and a slicer. So this is the basics for this template. And so let me show you what the final version looks like once you actually load data into this. All right, so let me show you what the final version looks like. Remember, this was just a, a quick, simple template to give you an idea. So I've tweaked it a little bit. I've added my data and this is what I have now, right? So same principles. We have our footer down here. I have my state slicer. Here I have my banner, which is, you know, the map of maybe the state that I'm looking at. I chose to add a little flag back here, which is the state flag of Florida. Um, we have our KPI card. Remember, I added, you know, the name here. I chose to add the U.S. senators to, to, that belong to that state because I am working with census data. But here's our quick KPI card. Remember, this is our, sort of the attention grabber. And then we have our sections. Here I have the Dapper Dash accounts. So as soon as I'm looking at data in here, I know that I'm looking at accounts belonging to Dapper Dash. If I look at this section, it reads demographics. I know that I'm looking at the demographics of this state. And now as I start to change it, right, let's go look at California. We can see that our banner changes. It lets us know we're looking at California. We have their title, you know, all of our, our KPIs, our, our visualizations, everything updates. The, the random flag that I have back here, it updates, um, but it looks really neat. It looks really clean. I think this is really effective. Let's just go look at one more state. Let's go pull up New York, right? And I, th I think this does the trick. So we started off with this simple template that I showed you, and I ended up with this more refined uh, template here. 
Um, I think this is really simple. And like I said, really simple. It's a really simple design, but very effective and really clean. It, it's well sectioned off. I hope you found this template useful. Remember, if you're not working with location sort of data, like state, zip code, lo uh, latitude and longitude, let me show you an, an alternative version to this template. Everything that you see here pretty much stays the same except for uh, a different idea of something that you can do with the banner, right? Because in my particular case, like I said, I'm working with location, so it makes sense to add a map. But if you're not working with anything that requires a map, let me show you an alternate way that you can put this template together. Okay, so an alternative version, if, you're, if your banner doesn't really work to be using a map, remember I mentioned that you can use an image or even an alternate version to maybe the KPI card. Uh, let's pretend that we are attending an event and we wanna report on the numbers of that event, right? We can look at, at this layout, um, which is, it's very similar. What I've done though is I've, I've taken the footer out and I've kind of added it here on the right, right? And, and that's what I mean by you can mix and match. Instead of adding the footer here, what I've done is I've kind of placed a menu on the right instead. I still have my KPI card. I still have my banner and my sections. Instead of sections, what I've done is I've added maybe buttons. Um, and so instead of the map, you can use an image like this, right? And so here I have an image that shows people attending some sort of conference or they're watching a lecture. Um, I grabbed this from the internet. Uh, Gartner Data has a summit, right? And this was from 2019. So the Gartner Data and Analytics Summit. And so instead of my KPI card, maybe I use their logo here, right? I have my image. And instead of my footer that had the data, uh, I now have this menu on the right where I can browse and navigate my pages or I can go home or I have maybe another button that takes me to a different menu. Um, like I mentioned, the possibilities are endless, but everything started with this simple design layout here. All right, the basics of it is you have sections where you have visualizations, you have a footer or some sort of menu section, a banner, and a KPI card, or in the case of our alternative version, a logo card, right? Maybe this is where you put your logo. Once again, I think it's a really effective layout. It's really simple design, but very neat and very clean and very effective. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helps you in any sort of way. Please feel free to copy any of the layouts that you've ever seen me do on, on Dapper Dash. Use it in your own presentations. I hope it helps. And uh, maybe I'll do one of these at the end of 2022 with a, a new layout that I maybe have in mind. This has been my favorite for 2021. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for all the support and I'll catch you guys next time.